joining me today. I am coming to you today with a new book that I purchased off of Amazon. And this is by one of my top favorite illustrators. This is by Grisa Salvo, if I'm pronouncing that right, Grisia, Grisia or Grisia Salvo. And this is called Mandela Girls Collection. Now, if you're uh, new to my channel, you may not know, but I've said in the past that I absolutely do not like to do mandalas. But when I was looking for new books and I saw that it was Grisada and she's never done, this is her first book uh, with um, mandalas as well. So I was like, I know she can really draw and make, you know, um, illustrations look lifelike portrait like so I was willing to try it I saw how the front cover was so it's not like a whole lot of circles so I break I broke with my own word on this one and probably this will may be the only one as far as I know that I'm going to break on but if she does another book with it I will more than likely get this book so this book is not very thin I'm not sure how many illustrations are in it I don't remember uh, but this book is glue bound and you can color uh, into the seam if you want but there's not like it's tight where you can't get to it like a lot of the books the paper uh, to me is thin but it's white it's nice so if you don't like thin paper then this may not be the book for you but I don't particularly care for thin paper either but if it's a nice nicer grade of paper then create space I'm all for it but um let's just jump right into this okay and uh, I'm gonna start by showing you this is cardstock guys I'm special <laughs> I'm talking about it in a funny way um this is cardstock even my cardstock has to look artistic or cute or whatever I just I just don't want to look into a plain cardstock. This is a 12 by 12. I forget who is by, but it's 12 by 12. If you message me, I'll I'll go further into it and look it up to see what it was, what the name of it was, and let you know. But uh, this comes 12 by 12, so of course I cut it down to the page size. Sometimes I leave a little bit over just so you know when you go to the edge of the paper. You're not ripping the paper. So let's just move this out of the way. As you see, it's plain white on the back. And yeah. That's my little card stock I use because I like to look at cute stuff all the way around. Here's the introduction page here. She left you a little note. I won't read it. Uh, but I will tell you it has 16 grayscale images. Now Right off the bat, I don't like a whole lot of grayscale, but if it's like a light grayscale and it's not too dark, I don't mind doing the grayscale. But if it's like super dark, then I probably won't purchase it or be that happy about it. Um, I think I have a book, another book I'm going to be sharing with you guys soon that is grayscale and it's a little darker. But uh, I'm going to try it out and see and let you guys know what it looks like. She signed it here. And here is our first image. She also, you can also get this in PDF. I don't have a printer, so I never print anything or get anything printed. I like, I like to have the actual book. And uh, she does has an essay shop. And let's see if I can come closer. And there is her essay shop there. And um, I'm not sure if the book is there yet. I don't know. I haven't looked. But she's telling you to check out her essay shop. I am subscribed to her essay shop. So I haven't received anything as far as this book. I found this book on Amazon. So you guys, I don't know how many copies they have. But you better jump on it. And it wasn't that expensive. They even have Wild Souls on Amazon. I was totally shocked when I saw Wild Souls. Because I had to wait a month for mine to come from Korea to get that book. But Amazon has it now. She is absolutely gorgeous. See, I don't mind doing this. It's not like a whole lot of... Uh, I, won't, I don't want to say crap. But I just can't do the circles and the 
the 50,000 flowers and oh my lord I just can't I like drama I like fierceness you know what I mean diva is what I like to color which is my favorite I like to color other things but I must say portraits are my number one and see you can uh, color uh, doesn't go all the way into the scene but you know if you want to color the outside I don't know why you would but you could and of course she has signed every page and here is a page I a color for you guys I think I did another one as well there's two pages that I color and I don't even really use all of my expensive pencils I think I used maybe two brands of inexpensive pencils and uh, I did use my Prismacolor so yeah, that's about the only thing that I did. Uh, use a use a mixture. I always use a mixture between inexpensive and expensive pencils. So yeah, I this did not take my. I'm slow about coloring anyway because I have other things to do. I mainly color when I'm watching television or if I'm just sitting there. I always color color on my couch. I have this. Uh, real wood lab desk that I use and I have a clipboard that sits on it and so and then I have two jumbo giant clips that I, I clip my books down each side so nothing moves and I can just do my thing she looks kind of reptilian see her, her art is so beautiful it's like okay I'm gonna get over this mandal I'm gonna try it that's beautiful I start to do this one for you guys because it looks like it has some type of sunflowers and stuff on it just just beautiful See these scenes here, I'm not like a great super fan of, but I will do it just for the sake of the book. I, I will do it, so I don't mind. I may even use some glitter glues that I have. and I said I may, I may not. I don't know. Just to jazz it up a bit, but she's pretty. All of the illustrations are pretty. I just wish that in this book that she had drawn her African American or, she, or or black woman if you want to say it a little bit more like she does the other images that's all I'm saying Griselle you know do our do our black women a little more beautiful okay okay but this is nice it's like her neck is tattooed this, this, this would be really great with some vibrant colors It's not super busy. It didn't take me long to do it. Once I got started and got into the groove of it, I was fairly pleased. Ah, voila. And this is the cover image. The book. It's the cover image. And I know you guys should probably think that is a weird color combination. But Christmas is coming. And Christmas is my birthday. Yes, I was born on Christmas Day. So I'll be celebrating my birthday. And I decided to do the colors in honor of me and Christmas. Yeah. I wish I had maybe left this background white. That way we'll go a little more with that. But... Other than that, I think it's cute. I took my time doing it. Kiki in with my husband <laughs> while I was going. She looks like she could be a bird, huh? She's cute too. She's like she's like an odd beauty. Got a little mandolin in the hair a little bit. It's not it's not overwhelming. And I'm just glad she didn't have it 
covering all the background. I don't like that. She's beautiful. All of them are. Just all of them are beautiful. I start to do this one as well. I was torn between this one and the cover page. And I decided to do the cover page for you guys. And I didn't see this. It must have been stuck when I was flipping through the book. Because I think I probably would have done this one. This is nice. And see, here we are. All of an African American woman, we don't have that woolly hair. Griselda, I want you to stop that, okay? <laughs> Draw something long and luxurious, okay? But it is what it is, but yeah. She's she's got a lot going on. She's pretty much covered from head to toe. Or from head to torso, should I say? You see, I want flowing like this. I don't want with my hair is not wooly like this, okay? <laughs> okay, that's the end of the book. We went through those 16 images pretty quick, didn't we? Let's see, these are just blank pages, I guess you can test on, but, um, you know, I, I clip, I have jumbo clips that are like 11 inches. You can find those on Amazon. But yeah, my, my jumbo clips are about as long as this book. And I clip it down to the 17 by 19 clipboard I have. Then I sit the clipboard on top of that that wood lap desk that I have. It's kind of like it, it opens and then it goes flat. But yeah, that's, that's what I work on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this talk through and this flip through. And I'll see you on the next book. Bye.